Hi guys, welcome to my channel, Blu-ray Ben, and today I'm going to do a, an unboxing of something that I've been wanting to pick up for quite a while and so happy it's finally arrived. I have already opened it up because I wanted to watch it beforehand and also see, uh, you know, what's inside so I can sort of do a better unboxing. Uh, because, you know, they do tell you on Amazon what's inside, but the photos aren't that good, so I wanted to open up myself. Okay, so, as you can probably tell by the title of the video, it's The Dam Busters, the 1955 uh, sort of war blockbuster of its time. Uh, you know, with a brand new restoration and loads of extras, loads of stuff which I'm going to get into now. Uh, yeah, it's directed by Michael Anderson and stars, well, the two protagonists, uh, Richard Todd, who is Commander Gibson, and uh, Michael Redgrave, who is Dr. Barnes Wallace. So yeah, a really, really nice set. You can see here it's nice and thick, and uh, a really, really hard sort of outside box with some really nice artwork. I will be putting up some photos so you can see it. And this is the five disc collector's edition released by Studio Canal, the Vintage Classics. So yeah, on the front cover, it's got a really nice sort of picture, sort of artwork there, with uh, you know the squadron in one of the Lancaster planes, and then you've got uh, Richard Todd there uh, and uh, his co-pilot on the image with their British flag in the back. So it's a really nice image, and the box itself is like a sort of bone white, and then at the top it has Vintage Classics, and it also has a. Uh, a Radio Times sort of quote which is thrilling among the best British movies about the Second World War and I actually read that this was voted uh, the 68th best British film of the 20th century so can't be bad can it so yeah on the the spines it's pretty simple it just says the Dan Busters but it has the same sort of image there so when you put it on the shelf it looks really nice and on the other spine it's exactly the same the only difference is that this has the PG UK rating and then uh, it has 1955, that's the date of the film there, sort of in gold, which is quite nice. Okay, and then on the back, it has obviously the synopsis. I'll put photos up, as I said, and it explains uh, the information of all the discs. There are quite a lot of discs, and it took me a while to understand which is what and why, but I will get into that now. But yeah, so also some, uh, some images here of the film, in black and white, obviously, because the film is in black and white. So I'm going to open this up. The reason I'm doing this unboxing like this and not sort of from behind the camera is because this set opens up really sort of quite big and it won't fit in the camera if I'm doing it from behind. So first off, as I like to sort of always say, the box is very sturdy so it's, you can tell it's good quality uh, release because when you have these outside boxes and they're really flimsy, they just haven't gone to any effort at all and this is really sturdy. And then, <coughs> so here we have uh, Dr. Barnes, uh, well first off, the spine is, uh, you know, the same spine that you see from the outside of the box set when you pull it out. And then on the sort of back you have uh, Dr. Barnes Wallace there, and in a nice black and white image. And then on the other side you have uh, Richard Todd as Commander Gibson there just before sort of entering his Lancaster. Really nice. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to open this up here on camera, but I'm also going to put in a lot of photos because it opens up really long. And I'm, I'm going to end up breaking something or one of the discs is going to be falling out, but I'll try and show you. So this sort of opens up like a book. You can see there we've got sort of two more images. Uh, there it is flying the Lancaster. And then this one sort of opens up to show a second image. And they sort of all open up, but a really long way. They keep opening up. Let's show that there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna close this down again to open up the other side. Whoa. So this also opens up there as well and then this is where they have the posters and the art cards and things like that which I'm going to show you now. So each of the discs is held in its separate sort of holder and then behind, I'm going to try and do it, can I do that? There you go. Sorry about the, the light and the glare and each of the discs behind it has a piece of artwork so if I sort of take this out you can see there's a character from uh, sort of the film behind each disc. Okay so there you go. Okay, so I'm going to explain the discs. Hang on a sec. So there are five discs. Uh, the first disc is actually the first three discs are DVDs. So we have the feature length movie in a one to three seven one ratio. And the second disc is also a DVD with a feature length film, but this time it's in a one to seven five one uh, aspect ratio. And then the third disc, which is also a DVD, is the Collector's Edition Special Features. So those are the first two discs, which are DVDs. And then the last two discs are exactly the same, but on Blu-ray. So we have uh, the first Special Features uh, on the same disc as the first movie, which is the 1 
to 371 aspect ratio. And then the last disc is the film on its own, which is the 1 to 751 ratio. So five discs, basically, of the film five times, two in DVD, two in Blu-ray. But then they've got different aspect ratios, you know, the original version and the sort of uh, updated version. But all of them are uh, completely brand new restoration on the Blu-ray and on the DVD. And uh, I have seen the actual 1 to 371 aspect ratio. Absolutely amazing. The upgrade to Blu-ray is perfect. It looks like a black and white film that could have been made yesterday. Absolutely amazing job. So they've done it really well. Uh, I still want to get into the special features because there are quite a lot. But I will have all that written down below in the description box. Uh, if anyone wants to check out the special features, which are a lot. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this up. Oh, no, no, I'm not. I'm going to open it and show you the back, if I can. So there's the back, which also has more artwork there. You can see that really, really nice. So it's got artwork behind the discs, and then when you open it up, it's got all this artwork on the front. So really, really nice set. So I am going to close this up now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take out... <coughs> these put that there okay so the first thing that it comes with are art cards sort of like photographs or postcards uh, of this of original movie you can see here very nice indeed this is a uh, commander gibson in front of his lancaster plane uh, this is sort of a typical war film sort of a uh, scene you know when they're explaining uh, sort of where they're going to attack how they're going to do it and, and things like that Okay, this is an image of Dr. Barnes, uh, you know, at his house when he's sort of trying to work out how uh, how to deploy the bombs, and that's with he's using his children to help him out with his calculations. And then this, yeah, this is a photo of uh, actually one of the crew in the Lancasters, because there were actually, I'm not sure, was it 16 planes in total? Or 15, I'm not sure. And this is uh, one of the sort of... Uh, one of the planes and then there we have a Lancaster there that's really nice hopefully you can see that I know there's a lot of glare because they're sort of really glossy and that's it so those are the art cards which are really nice on the back they're just plain white okay the next thing they give us is a poster and this poster for those of you who don't know what the film is about it's basically I don't want to spoil anything but it's basically uh, they're using a squadron of planes to bomb some dams in Germany and this is an aerial photograph I'm not sure if this is the I suppose this is probably the original after it was destroyed of the Mahom Dam and you can see there that this if you can make that out is actually signed by uh, you know the actors from the film you can see in all, all the white parts there's like a different signature so that's really cool it's really nice great collector's item and then we have the second poster, which is the one that I like the most, which is actually of the different uh, planes and all their crew. So this is uh, the Dambusters uh, 17th of May 2018 poster release, which is the Chastise Lancasters. The Chastise was the name of the sort of the operation. It was called Operation Chastise, and that was the sort of code name. And here we have it: all the planes that they sort of used. And the different uh, numbers of the planes, and also the crewman, the pilot, and uh, the bomber, and who, who else? And it's just really, really good. So it's a piece of history, a famous operation that went really well, at least for the Allies. And it's great to have all this information on one poster. A lot of people died in it as well. They lost, I think, eight planes. Fifty-six people died, uh, but it was a success in the end. And then I come to the booklet, and now this, a lot of these booklets, they're really sort of thin. Uh, I'm going to see if they've got the, the pages numbered. Yes, yeah, 62-page booklet, really thick, really well done, with some really nice artwork. Obviously, I'm not going to go through the whole thing. And on the back here, I'm not sure, this is sort of, uh, I'm not too sure what this is. It looks like the names of the crew and which Lancasters they were assigned to and things like that. So one of these sort of uh, you know, documentation sheets. Uh, yeah, so really nice. And then on the inside, as I said, I'm not going to show you everything, but uh, just sort of tells you about the the actors from the film. I don't know if you can see that. You make it out. There's quite a lot of glare, so white pages, and then sort of just loads of information and uh, sort of artwork. There you can see original RAF Operation Chastise Artifact. 
it was the 617th squadron that actually did it, uh, you know, from the RAF. So it's all based on a true story and a great film, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And uh, yeah, and Rotten Tomatoes, I think it's got 100%, so can't be bad. So yeah, this booklet just goes on and on. Just loads of things, you know, who did what, why, the family, scenes from the Dam Busters, uh, you know, everything. So yeah, I'm gonna, it's going to be a really interesting read and uh, looking forward to that. So basically that's it. Uh, I will put the link down below uh, where I bought it from. I bought it from Amazon UK. I think it was £20 when I bought it. I don't know if that's gone up or down, but I'll put the link down below. If you want to check it out, click on that and uh, you can pick it up. Really nice set. I'll show you just to finish off. Uh, so happy to have this in my collection and it's going to look amazing on the shelf and uh, such a classic British British movie with British actors and that's uh, sort of uh, something that we did in the Second World War to sort of help us win and uh, yeah based on a true story and just really sad for the people who didn't make it back but you know their memory will go on with uh, you know restorations like this and movies so powerful as this and if you haven't seen it I highly recommend it. So if you have any questions please ask them down below I always love answering questions of course, like this video, share it and uh, subscribe to my channel. Thanks for watching and take care guys.